Hi everyone, I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and I'm here with a brief update in the Daddy O5, uh, Mike Martin, Rose Hall, Cody and Emma custody situation. Uh, uh, Joy Sparkles, I was just watching her channel, and she broke the news that there is uh, another Twitter person, crap, I already forgot their name, uh, Nick somebody, you gotta go watch her video if you want to, uh, to see that. But she has found this document, uh, she and, and, and her friend have found this document, which seems to indicate that Mike Martin, the defendant in, uh, or the, the, the father in Daddy 5 is now a defendant in a domestic violence case. Uh, it appears to have been filed on 428, which was last Friday at 1.30 p.m., it says somewhere here that it's ex parte, and ex parte would mean only one party was present. And what that means is that uh, whoever brought the domestic violence charges or claims is likely a person, not a police officer or anything, that went to the courthouse and filed some kind of paperwork. Uh, and then uh, these, these basically these charges or claims were made. This is a civil, it looks like it's in the civil court system, so again, I'm not sure that he's being charged as a crime so much as like this is like a, a Maryland's version of uh, some kind of a civil domestic violence dispute. But it looks like he's the defendant, which means something happened on, on Friday, either earlier in the day or maybe something happened late on, on the 27th, and someone, I'm, I'm guessing the, uh, the stepmom, I don't know her name, but I, I'm just guessing, I do not know whether it's her or not. Uh, as you can see from the bottom of this page, the, the Maryland does not give us any more information. Uh, someone will have to go to the courthouse and get some of the documents if, uh, if, if anyone wants to know. So, interesting that there would be this alleged child abuse situation and seems like a lot of people recognize the difficulty that the children were going through but some people are still kind of on the side of the parents some people are still firmly on the side of the uh, the step the, the, the step mom and and father and uh, this seems to point more and more towards there is really some kind of either illness or situation going on here where the parents are too violent and too abusive, too aggressive with their children for whatever reason. Uh, then I think we also found out, because of the, the nature of this thing, that two of the kids, Cody and Emma, belonged to the biological mom in North Carolina, and the other three are not Mike Martin's kids. They're the stepmom's kids. Again, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that was my understanding of it. And that just sort of points to a situation where maybe there was some inter-family conflict and that's why some of the pranks seem more like abuse or discrimination against the, the children who were outside, the children who were not part of the core family unit or something. So... Could the Hamish Milna asks, could the, depart, the domestic violence relate to the children? I guess that's not usually called domestic violence, though. That's usually called uh, that's usually called um, uh, child abuse, just plain old child abuse. Um, hang on a sec. There's some kind of problem on the stream. What is Cerulean saying? Nope, no idea. Cerulean, uh, if when, when you receive this, uh, let me know what you're talking about. Uh, what about it stopping? So. Uh, there's not much more to the update. It's it's currently Tuesday at 3.30 in the afternoon. He apparently has a hearing. Uh, f uh, this could be, uh, oh, you know, here's another piece of information that I didn't see, that I didn't notice before. The hearing on 5.5 at 2 p.m. is for a protective order. So this might be a private domestic violence claim and that domestic violence claim means that someone is seeking a protective order. In Pennsylvania, these protective orders are called protection from abuse orders, and basically any allegation of violence that the judge doesn't uh, doesn't get doesn't refute, uh, or that can't be refuted to the judge by the party, will be found as 
necessary or, or, or prima facie evidence in favor of the protective order. And the judges usually side on giving the protective order if there's any real equivocation or lack of clarity on whether the violence actually occurred. If someone walked into court showing these videos and alleging violence, it would put a defendant, uh, really, it would put the burden on them to show that they weren't violent and it may be difficult. Um, the kids do have Philip DeFranco and some of the others to, to thank for the case, Jack. That's very true. Okay, so Jack asks, did the parents make a run for it? That I don't know. I've heard reports that the stepmom and father made a run for it, but that would seem to me only possible after this domestic violence thing. So after 428 at 1.30 p.m., they they uh, they made a run for it? I don't know. That's, that's, that's not information I'm privy to. Why are they running, and do they realize that running is only going to make it worse? I, 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 I don't know. Um, what was the other question? He, okay, so it appears to be a claim. It appears to be a civil claim for domestic violence, not a, a criminal charge for domestic violence. I'm not 100% sure, but we are in the civil court system here with this document. It is something that says protective order at the bottom, and it looks like it had to be sought in court first, which domestic violence charges usually come from the district attorney and not from the, uh, from the court. So this seems to be a person went to court, probably a civil court, uh, well, definitely a civil court, but went to the civil court of Frederick County and, and filed for this as opposed to someone uh, being charged by the police. So this appears to be a private charge or a private claim. Uh, I'm going to stick by the word charge. I, I, I don't, that's not technically the word that I would use to describe a civil claim, but this is close enough to it that I don't think the language is that, uh, is that far off. So let me just check the end of the, uh, the, the chat here. No H3H3 update, I'm sorry, I did check about two hours ago, so unless it's come through in the last two hours, sorry, there will be an update as soon as that happens, I promise. Uh, Zoe says I'm a legend, thank you, I appreciate that. I always am trying very hard to be a legend, so uh, kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm just trying to be me, and if you happen to like what I do, good for both of us. Have the police taken the kids away yet? The police did take Cody and Emma away, but we're not, I don't know about the status of the other three. Like I said, some people have claimed that they're on the run for some reason to try and outrun some other custody case. That's not going to work. How, can, how long can you do that? Anyway, okay. So thank you all for joining me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. Thank you all of my supporters. Thank you all of you who Twitter, who tweet me, who Twitter me, wow, who tweet me about these cases, who interact in the comments and on social media, who support me on Patreon in any amount. These are all wonderful things that help me keep this going and help reduce the amount of time I have to spend on other work so that I can spend more time on this kind of work for you. I will have more updates as they come. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and have a great week.